I generally respect you for clicking this video because I never had the balls. I never had the really guts to admit that I was just being lazy. I was just, I had the idea that, oh no, I'm just free. I can do whatever I want. I'm just a happy person. That's why I don't do the work, you know? Those are for nerds. And it really reminds me of a guy that I met two years ago called Grayson. And Grayson is quite an ordinary ass guy. You know, he wants high grade, but he's getting like pretty low, medium grade, who cares, right? Pretty average. He wants more money, but you know, he's not even looking for a job because last time he applied for a job, he got declined like once. So, you know, end of that. And his hobbies are pretty much playing games, watching anime, watching other TV shows. But what made him the most interesting person, something that really separated him from the ordinary and different guy is he wanted bitches. And that's the type of guy Grayson was. And this doesn't mean he got a lot of bitches. It means he was too scared to talk to girls. And that meant he had to use Snapchat, he had to use Instagram. And whenever he talked to the girls on those apps, when it came to the real situation, he would be scared. And that's the type of guy Grayson was. And what made this story even more interesting is that he had a friend called Dixon. And now Dixon, on the other hand, is pretty much the same as him. Ordinary, you know, again, he wanted bitches. But there's a reason why I'm telling you this story, because one day, out of nowhere, or slowly really, they just broke apart. And it all started when Dixon, for the first time, got a better grade than Grayson. Now Grayson, you know, put in enough study to do better than Dixon, you know, for that ego boost, but that's all he really needed. And Dixon, that one time, he got a better grade. Now Dixon didn't really shove it in his face or anything, but it definitely hurt Grayson. He went home thinking, how the fuck did he get a better grade? Like, oh, do we study the same, you know, we play games the same, we watch animes at the same time, but why did he get a better grade? But again, Grayson just saw this as a little loss, you know, he's not going to take it too seriously because it's not that deep. But again, Grayson was like, you know what, you know what, fine, you know, Dixon got a one better grade than me, you know, it's not that deep, you know, his ego is really hurt right now. But little did Grayson know that this same day, of losing to Dixon will continue again and again and again. The second day, Grayson saw Dixon talk to fucking bitches outside his grade. Now, I don't condone the word bitches, right? It's just the word youngsters are using these days. But Grayson saw Dixon talk outside his class where they were supposed to meet. Dixon was comfortably talking to all these girls and yet Grayson was in the back, saw this, and he was devastated. His very own best friend was doing something he couldn't, something he was dreaming of. He thought Dixon was the same as him, and yet why is he doing better than him? So obviously it'd be really awkward for Grayson to step up, be like, hey, you're my best friend, why are you doing this? You know, it'd be really weird for him to just say that to Dixon. Like, it's kind of like, what the hell, right? So, you know, he went home again, eager, hurt. And this was the start of a day-to-day -day basis where he would lose to Dixon. Dixon would achieve everything Grayson ever wanted for the rest of the times. Dixon became jacked, Dixon got good grades, and Grayson was deeply hurt. And those two, Dixon and Grayson, no longer became the Sen friends. Get my joke, guys, you know, Dixon and Grayson, you know, Grayson, okay, well, fuck, okay, fuck it. And they would slowly walk their own different paths. And for the next couple months, Grayson would always blame Dixon. He would make new friends eventually, you know, just the same as him again, meet more old Dixons, right? And tell them the story about how his best friend ditched him and how he just became a sweat and a dickhead for leaving. And that was the kind of Grayson was. He never admitted his own failure, but what changed in Dixon? Why did this guy, ordinary ass guy, just the same as Grayson change though? Now Grayson never really thought about this until a couple, literally a whole ass year later, because he, I know he came to me and said, hey, why was Dixon like this? Like what changed, right? So then I'm telling this guy, hey, Grayson, like what did Dixon do different than you? Well, clearly, he put in the effort in everything he did. Now something about lazy people, it's more about their mindset, right? A lot of people like who are lazy like to call people sweat. You know, that's just like a comfort word. And when that person studies so much for a grade, you know, they're, they're a sweat, they're a nerd. When someone goes to the gym, you know, they're a gym rat, you know, they have a good body but no brains. You know, there's always these coping words like these lazy people like to use and that was literally myself as well. So I'm speaking from experience, but I feel like the reason why a lot of people are lazy is because they have certain mindsets that block them. Now that's what Grayson has came to realize that, hey, you know what? I'm gonna start putting 100% effort into everything I had. And that was very similar to when I used to work at a, like a supermarket. I always thought, hey, we all get paid the same. Why do I need to work any harder than anyone else here? I could just work the bare minimum, then that would get me to the same pay, so why does it matter? And that's when I realized, hey, I was becoming more of a Grayson than a Dixon. Now Dixon would put effort in everything he did, every single little thing he did, and that's what pushed him to success. That's what made him more successful than fucking Grayson. I think it's really toxic 
nowadays that we have the idea that working hard is cringe, that working hard is just like, oh, yo, why are you being such a sweat for? Like, what the fuck? Now I realized if I worked really hard, like, even in an hour of study, I was just sweating it so hard, you know, I was making sure I know everything, and I was just going super fast at it, you know, quality and quantity type behavior, I feel like I would have achieved so much more. Now, I don't really like the idea of regretting things, because, like, the past is the past, but I definitely regret you know, not working my hardest at like these little things. Because I know that if I work hard, it's gonna pour into my other like life skills. It reminds me of two years ago when I was at the gym and I was generally really lazy. I was scared of, you know, breaking my bones and whatever. I was scared of breaking, tearing my fucking non-existent muscles. I was scared of like doing extra reps. So I realized I never sweated at the gym, right? If genuinely, I think I'm a big believer that if you don't sweat at the gym, then you're not working hard enough. That's genuinely true because if you did work the you know, absolute hardest, you would sweat. Now, I don't know the science behind this, so don't quote me on that one. But it generally was the reason why I was skinny for way too long. I was afraid of working hard. I was afraid of so many random bullshit. And I was literally just being lazy. Now, take this video however you want. I'm not expecting you to be some sudden Dixon guy. I'm not expecting you to be working hard. But I just want you to know that next time you're doing something, you're studying, you're going to work. I want you to like kind of like remove all your ego for one second, put it outside, right? Just put it outside and just be like, you know what? Why don't I just work 100%? I mean, I'm, I'm here anyways. And I think you'd reach a sense of maybe self-esteem of being so proud of yourself because you worked hard. And a certain trait a lot of lazy people have is they tend to look down upon themselves, right? They, they re like, oh, I'm so shit, I'm so blah, blah, blah. And the reason why that happens sometimes, you know, you have these negative emotions is because you're not proud of yourself at all. If you're genuinely proud of yourself, you would put 100% into everything. And you know, again, take this video however you like it. But if you generally like this video, uh, give me a thumbs up or something. You know, subscribe, comment whatever you like, you know, maybe some suggestions to how I can improve this video. No, that's kind of it, guys. I appreciate you. Thank you.